everyone, welcome to my channel. In this vlog, I will show you my Osaka journey with my dad. I had lunch by myself back at Shama because my dad wanted to eat meat with his friends. If you watched my 2017 Osaka vlogs, you would know this is not my first time here. I love how they clearly label which items contain milk. The lunch sets on the menu here are definitely worth it, but I didn't feel like eating much, so I just ordered a vegan naan with two types of curry. Look at this gigantic naan. Sag is an Indian green curry, usually made of spinach, mustard leaves, or other greens along with added spices. So it's rich and creamy. This other curry wasn't as flavorful as the green one, but overall, I'd still give this place 4 out of 5. Then, we went to the second cultural concert in Sakai, celebrating the 60th anniversary of the diplomatic relationship between Japan and Indonesia. Indonesian Pride, the Resonance Children's Choir. Their performance made me so proud to be Indonesian. And here is a picture of me with the richest man of Indonesia. After the show, I took my dad to my favorite vegan restaurant in Osaka called Aju Kitchen Bar. This was my second time here and I ordered the Koya Tofu fish and chips again. Cause I wanted to impress my dad. Also the same thing I got last time, the Okonomiyaki. And something I haven't tried before, mushroom escargot and assorted yakitori. I freaking love the koya tofu. Words cannot describe how good it is. It's just so unforgettable. I absolutely love the okonomiyaki as well. It's so chunky and meaty. Definitely a must try if you're in Osaka. The mushroom escargot was unique, and I really liked the hint of basil, but it was too oily. I'd give it a 3 out of 5, but I wouldn't order it again. And it was too hot for my dad's cat's tongue. The soy chicken yakitori were impressive. They tasted 80% like real chicken. One downside about this place is that every dish is small and expensive but it was worth it for me. Lastly, we ended the meal with this beautiful matcha cake. If you don't know already, I am a huge matcha-holic. I will order anything matcha as long as it's vegan. Okay, I know my dad didn't have any expression throughout the dinner, but he really enjoyed it. At least that's my assumption. Back to the matcha cake, it was very dense and moist. It had a perfect balance of sweetness and bitterness that left me wanting for more. The next morning, I returned to Streamer Coffee Company. It's one of the few cafes in Japan that offers almond milk option. Look at this almond milk propaganda. This heartwarming California latte was the perfect drink to start my day. Then I got this plum flavored inari onigiri from the convenience store for a quick bite. It was pretty good and filling. Then I joined my dad's and his friends on a day trip to Kobe. And of course they went there for the Kobe beef. Their lunch costed total over 1k US dollar. How ridiculous. While the men were eating corpse, I mean beef, us ladies went to a cute vegetarian cafe nearby instead. Even though the foods okay. looked pretty good, they were forgettable. Afterward, I found this cute vegan dessert place through Happy Cow. They sell mainly donuts, waffles, and some cakes. I liked how the donuts and the waffles weren't too sweet, but they were a bit dry. However, their strawberry cake was really, really good. Then we stopped by the Maishima plant. It looks like a Las Vegas hotel, right? But guess what? It's a garbage disposal facility. 
Yes, garbage. If you make reservation in advance, you could get a free tour of this facility. I wish I knew about it earlier because I would love to see the inside. Okay, so this next part, I know I will be getting some hate from the vegan police, so I just want to apologize in advance. My dad and his friends wanted to check out the aquarium. I know, going to the aquarium is not a very vegan thing to do, and keeping sea creatures in captivity is definitely not okay. But I wanted to spend quality time with my dad during this trip and not be too anal about it. Plus, he paid for all my expenses, so the least I could do is to accompany him and create good memories. It was also an honor to be hanging out with billionaire Mr. Budi Hartono. They even sell aquarium-themed soft serves. My favorite part of the aquarium was the jellyfish dungeon. Oh. The jellyfish. Yeah. <laughs> jellyfish are so hypnotizing to look at. This giant tank full of jellyfish was so mesmerizing. Imagine coming here high. I was pretty tripped out by these sea angels as well. They looked so surreal. My dad finally cracked a smile. <laughs> Afterward, we headed back to our hotel and relaxed for the rest of the day. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and hit the subscribe button. Also, turn on a notification alert so you'll know when I upload a new video. Janet!